Hello, and welcome to this presentation using NRP Power Analysis. In this short presentation, we'll provide an overview of the NRPZ Power Analysis option and explain the different types of measurements that can be made using an SMA100B analog signal generator and an NRPZ8X series power sensor. Signal generators often are used to generate a signal into a device under test that changes the input signal in some way. In order to see how the signal is changed, we can use another instrument, such as a spectrum analyzer. Although the generator and measuring instrument can be configured and used independently of each other, in many cases there are significant advantages when these two instruments are connected to each other or integrated together. For example, if we want to measure a filter, our generator could sweep through a range of frequencies, and our measuring instrument would automatically know the current generator frequency and level. For some types of testing, especially when the signals involved are vector signals, a spectrum analyzer is the best choice for a measuring instrument. However, for many types of tests involving scalar measurements, a simpler and more cost-effective solution is using a power sensor as the measuring device. In this case, the power sensor is directly connected to our signal generator. Our signal generator both controls and retrieves measurements from the sensor. Although this test setup is limited to scalar measurements, it can be used for a wide variety of applications. The NRPZ Power Analysis option, SMABK28, enables the integration of an SMA100B and up to four NRPZ8X power sensors. We can use this option to measure power versus frequency, power versus power, and power versus time. In the remainder of this presentation, we'll talk about each of these applications and show actual measurement results made with this option. Do keep in mind, however, that the power analysis option can only be used for scalar measurements. Most power analysis results are provided graphically with up to four traces. Graphical trace data can be enhanced with markers, reference and math traces, as well as numerical results in some cases. As we mentioned earlier, there are three different measurement modes with the NRPZ power analysis option. These are frequency mode, power mode, and time mode. An example of frequency mode is measuring the passband of a filter. For power mode, measuring the gain and compression point of an amplifier is a common application. And in time mode, we're usually concerned with the measurement of pulse signals and their parameters. For our frequency mode example, let's determine the passband of a simple filter. We first specify start and stop frequencies, and then the number of steps. The power analysis option will cause the SMA to transmit a signal at each one of these steps, and monitor the received power at the attached NRP sensor. The application will plot the results on a graph, allowing us to view and measure our filter passband parameters. Here is an actual measurement result of a bandpass filter. We could use markers to determine both the width of the passband, as well as the attenuation outside of the passband. Determining the gain curve and compression point of a simple amplifier is a good example of a power mode measurement. As before, we specify minimum and maximum values, here are the input power levels, and the number of steps between them. The SMA then transmits a fixed frequency signal at each one of these power steps, and measures the received power at the attached NRP sensor. The Power Viewer application plots the results on a graph, allowing us to view and measure our amplifier parameters. Amplifier gain in the linear region can easily be read off this graph. Here, for an input power of minus 20 dBm, we have an output power of 0 dBm, meaning our amplifier is providing about 20 dB of gain. We can also compute the 1 dB compression point using a combination of reference and math traces, as well as markers. Here, our P1dB is minus 10.87 dBm. Unlike frequency and power mode measurements, in time mode we can measure signals from any source. Signals could be generated by the SMA through some device under test, or the signals could be coming from some external source. In either case, the NRP sensor measures the received signal and displays the results in the time domain, that is, as power versus time. In addition, various pulse parameters can also be automatically displayed and calculated. Time mode measurements are usually used for pulse signals. Although markers could be used to manually measure pulse parameters, such as pulse width or pulse interval, the pulse analysis option supports around 20 different pulse parameters, up to six of which can be calculated and displayed automatically. So in summary, 
Signal generators are often used with another instrument that measures how a device under test changes a signal. Spectrum analyzers are needed for the measurement of vector signals such as LTE, 5G, and R, or Wi-Fi, whereas power sensors can be used for scalar measurements of received power. The NRPZ power analysis option integrates an SMA100B analog signal generator and NRPZ8X series power sensors into an efficient, low-cost way of making scalar measurements. These measurements include power versus frequency, such as measuring a filter's passband, power versus power, such as measuring an amplifier's gain and compression point, and power versus time, such as measuring the parameters of a pulse signal. This concludes our presentation using NRP power analysis. If you'd like to learn more about NRP power sensors, the SMA100B, the power analysis option, or related test and measurement topics, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.